Hello, everybody. Welcome back to American Truck Simulator. Once again, we are going to drive the 2018 Cascadia. Uh, there was a few requests for this truck over the last uh, few videos. Uh, so I wanted to go back to it and we're going to be driving a CRS T-skin on it. Uh, we're in Sacramento, California. We're going to go to uh, San Diego, I believe. So we're going to pretty much have a straight shot down the five and do some highway driving instead of some windy roads like we have been recently. Let's hop up into the cab and check out the truck. So the truck has been updated. I did go with the uh, second uh, option when it came to the wheel because the wheel itself had an interesting texture. It was like that uh, plastic crackle kind of texture, you know? So let's go ahead and fire it up. I kept it uh, default. I think it's like 350 horsepower. It's pretty low horsepower on it. Um, and not to mention, uh, it has a 10 speed in it. So we're gonna be driving the 10 speed and we should be able to go right over here and pick up our trailer. It's that Walmart reefer with the side skirts on it. So let's go ahead and do that. Actually, we don't need our lights on right now. No need for any of that. Turn our flashes on. All right. And uh, with this truck, I, I went with the uh, airflow option when it came to the uh, rear axles and it has the aero kit. That's what I meant to say. Not the flow, but the uh, the aero kit on the, the rear of the truck. Uh, I looked at a lot of pictures of the CRST uh, Freightliners, and the one that I did see that was a 2018 had the aero kit on it, so that's the reason why we're doing it. Gonna be a little off on this one. Let's go ahead and go forward. Oh yeah, we're in a 10 speed. I have to go into what is known as L, L, low, low, uh, on other transmissions. What I'm used to, and not do it that way. All right, let's just pop it on this way. I don't think that's gonna be good enough. Nope. Uh, let's see here. I need to go to the right, don't I? Mm-hmm. Well, I really screwed this whole thing up. Let's go. Gotta go way to the right. That much. And then hard left. Try to hit the kingpin here. I thought we even went too much on that. Yep. Wow. Okay. Can't drive a truck today, everybody. Isn't that great? Let's try this. There we go. Good Lord. I was like, um... <laughs> I cannot pick up a trailer for my life today for some reason. Here we go. This should be pretty close. Come on, baby. You're almost there. Really? You didn't like that? Okay. And we killed it too. Why is that being such a pain in the butt to pick up? Well, you know what? I haven't, I always have advanced trailer coupling on and I wonder if this model won't let you do it. We'll find out here shortly. Oh, it will. Okay. I was just terrible. All right. To finish the trailer coupling, we're there. Now, we should be able to, in theory, pull the trailer brakes. No, I don't think it will to do it that way. I'll have to do it this way. So, attach the trailer. Yeah, because it doesn't hook up the lines until I do that. Wow, those have some uh, pretty annoying sounding flashers, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Just a little bit. All right. We're ready to get on out here now, though. I mean, we can double check our trailer brakes, make sure they're working. And we got... Yeah, it's fine. Sweet. I love it. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Right around the corner here. And we'll swing it this way. But I love how far this uh, mod has come along. Because at first it was a little crude, a little rough around the edges. And uh, it's come a long way. It looks pretty good now. And it's a pretty popular truck. I think everybody can agree with that. A lot of companies use it. You can see, you can't see much back there on those trailer, but that's all right. At least the FOV on this truck isn't broken. I, I do like that. Classic Farland. Bus lines. All right, so the 10 speed is a little interesting. I don't think I've ever driven a 10 speed. Well, at least not that I can remember. And yeah, because I'm over revving the hell out of the 10 speed. I know some of these uh, do have automatics in them. I, I tend to not play American Trucks in with any automatics. Uh, and when I did that Mac uh, Pinnacle, a lot of people said that it was an automatic truck, but by default, when I got the truck uh, at the, at the, 
in uh, the shop, whatever you want to call it, uh, it had a 13 speed in it. So by default, it was not an automatic. It didn't even have an automatic transmission. Oh my God, we have flying trailers again. You see those things flying in Walmart? Isn't that just lovely? <laughs> wow. -y. They went flying. I don't know where they ended up. No, I think they just disappear when it does that. I'm fairly certain that is the case. And do we have, okay, so we don't have a split on these gears. The splitter does not work. We have a range selector and that's pretty much it. That's what it's looking like to me. I can go into eighth gear here, although we have a light. We'll make it through this no problem. Now we didn't get in trouble because we were in the intersection before it turned red. So I know that uh, we still have the winter mod in. I think this is probably the last time I use the winter mod. I think it's time for it to uh, to go bye bye. Honestly, it's been fun. It's been great. It's been a great mod. Like, don't get me wrong. It's just time to retire it, I believe. I'm going to go up this hill in third, I think. Because remember, these things don't have very much horsepower or torque at all. Well, maybe. Maybe not the case. This guy up here has stopped on the top of the hill. That's always wonderful. Come on, buddy. Get on the highway. What are you doing? He's just kind of sitting here being an idiot. Okay. Well, I see what we're doing today, aren't we? You're going to kill us here. I'll try to hold the trailer brake down. Whoa, hello. Did it kill it? Really? This is just ridiculous. Come on, you jackass. Oh, I don't have an air horn on this truck. Yeah, we'll be able to use the trailer brakes, no problem on this. Come on, dude. Well, we're going to be here for a minute. This is a bad, bad uh, on-ramp, I've got to say. Pretty terrible. Not getting any brakes in traffic anytime soon. Well, while we're waiting, let's go to the SIV and look at this truck. Looks pretty darn good, if you ask me. Oh, come on, people. You're crazy. He might go this time. He might go. He might actually go. You gonna go? Yep. Oh, man. I am so screwed right here. I am so screwed right here on this hill. Come on. Oh, this is a pain in the ass. Oh, I know I have the parking brake on. Trust me. Come on, baby. Climb, climb, climb. Nice and easy. Wow. Well, 10 speed and low horsepower. No bueno. I'm good. Getting on right after this car. Wow. That was interesting. That was fun. Well, this time we get to use the cruise control. I haven't used the cruise control yet on the uh, button box because we haven't really been on the highway long enough to, to use it. Only on it a little bit here and there. Let's see what the Jake brakes light on this thing. Very quiet. Doesn't make much noise at all. As most of the new trucks are like that anyway. It's not far from the truth. Okay, so we know we're in California, so we only do 55. But will we get to, to 55? We're in ninth gear right now. We're going to 10th now here. Slowly climb up to 55 miles an hour here and set our cruise control. But we're on the five and we take the five all the way to San Diego for the most part. But what I was talking about earlier is with the winter mod, the reason why I'm going to take it out is because we've been dri driving everywhere but California lately and I kind of miss driving in California. So I think we're going to come back to it. However, I've been toying with the notion of uh, doing the 
uh, coast to coast mod again so we can go to different places. That'd be fun as well. All right, let's go set cruise there. Set to 53. Now I should be able to adjust my speed with this rotary dial here, as you can see right there. 60, 55. We'll do 55 right there. And that is a really neat thing to have. All right, we're on our way. Finally, outside of Stockton. But that's uh, one thing that happens whenever the DLCs come out. You know, you have, you know, New Mexico came out, then uh, uh, Oregon. But you don't go back to your roots, California. So it's good to revisit this and drive it again. Macy's. The magic of Macy's. Boy, this guy is going slow, though, I'll tell you that right now. Hey, Megan, uh, increase this a little bit here. We're not tailgating him. I have to get in the brakes. He's slowing way down. An ass. Come on, buddy. You can go a little faster than that. I think we can do, we can get away at 60, honestly. I want to get over, but I have to wait. And these guys aren't going to let us over. You know how that goes. We're going to have to force our way after this green car, it looks like. Right here. Now or never. Yep, hit the brakes, buddy. You don't want to be nice and help us? Screw you. Ready to set the cruise again here. Get it up to 60. We'll do five over. That way we're going to be cruising along pretty good. There we go, 58. Can adjust that a little bit to 60. Oh, there we go. Right to 60. Hang out in this lane for right now because they're getting off the highway up here, but no, we're pretty good. Can get back over. I don't think I've ever driven a CRST paint on this. Like at all. And we have plenty of fuel. Look at that. Full tank. I love it. That's a pretty nice mod, though. I've got to say. I'm really, really enjoying it. The visibility you get in one of these Cascadias is just crazy. It's so good. Let's go to the outside and look at it a little bit. There she is. Looking pretty. Pretty good, that is. To uh, get a screenshot here in a minute. Let me do that when we get over this hill, and then uh, I'll uh, I'll be right back. Oh, this lane ends. We have to get over anyway. Come on, buddy. The mur. Oh my God! Dead stop traffic. Dead stop traffic. We're not going to be not going to be at all. Oh my. Oh my. That was scary. That was scary. Everybody came to a halt. Would have been okay there, but man. We're going to have to help our fellow friends here by blocking the lane off from these assholes that are going up here and blocking it. No screenshot yet. There we go. There you go, buddy. I got you guys. I take care of my people on the road. It's all yours. It's all yours. Perfect, though. Which I can probably do third gear here. I'm getting used to what the gearing is like down here in the basement. It seems very short for those gears. Okay. And all was well again. <laughs> nope. And here we go again with this. Uh, we're going to be back in traffic again. Nope. They're good now. Well, some are getting on, but this guy isn't going to move over because he's a jackass. They do that in real life, too, or they're less like, nope, I'm not moving over for you guys to help flow traffic. Why would I do that? Come on, people. Oh, hello. Why did the truck start rolling backwards? That was weird. Um, we'll just wait for this traffic to thin out a little bit here. This is the main problem with American Truck Simulator is the on-ramps. I, I don't know how they haven't fixed this yet. They're too short and the AI does not merge. They just stop. They treat it like a stop sign. Whoa, did you see that oversized load? That was cool. 
Whoa, it's like a boat or something. All right, you guys are good. Let's roll. Come on. Now we're cruising. Five south to Los Angeles. Los Angeles. All right, well, I'm going to take a screenshot and then I will be right back. All right, folks, we are back on the highway, getting back up to speed here. And uh, we want to get back to 55, well, 60 for the most part. And then we'll set that cruise control again. Now, we shouldn't have any big change ups from here on out. Now, we have the big pass that we have to go. It'll probably be a downgrade, actually, for us instead of going uphill. That'll be fun to go through. There's 10th gear, and now we slowly climb back up. Boy, they aren't kidding. A lot of the newer, a lot of the truckers have said the newer trucks don't have any horsepower. And man, you guys are right. There's not a lot here. It takes forever to get up to speed. So next time you're behind a 2018 Cascadia that's a company truck, be sure to give them a, a break if they're not getting up to speed right away. Because that seems to be a real problem. There we go. Set our cruise control right at 60. That worked out just fine. On the road again. Well, it's beautiful to see California with some snow. You don't get to see it very much. Santa Cruz and Fresno. This guy's going slow. We're going to get over because that green car's taking forever to pass us. Sorry, buddy, but it's true. That's a nice truck. I love the T600. It's such a good looking truck. The classic. Always found the uh, color on CRST interesting. The gold. The golden standard. That should be their uh, slogan. Maybe it is. I really don't know what their slogan is, but the golden standard would be good. I mean, because their trucks are gold. That makes sense to me. With Dodge Intrepid, you don't see too many of those on their road anymore. Gee, I wonder why. They weren't the greatest things. God, I saw a relic the other day we, when we went to uh, Gatorland. We were on the turnpike, the Florida turnpike, and a probably like a had to been like a 94 Dodge Caravan. It was rusted to hell. The headlights were, you know, completely yellow from water damage and everything else. But I haven't seen one of those models in forever. And if you're wondering what model I'm talking about, what uh, body style, if you ever played Cruising USA, you know, when they're like, take him, we're not going to make it. I love those. Those little sound bits. Oh, what are we doing up here? I see. I, when I see brake lights like that in the right lane, I'm getting over. I love how they do that. They're like, not going to make it. Take him. Tell him to pass. But anywho, there was a um, brightly colored van in that game. And in that game was that model of the Dodge Caravan I'm talking about. I mean, they were pieces of crap. Kind of like the trap intrepids were. That's why you don't see them on the road anymore. True gem out there on the roadways, that's all. And I also have seen a couple of Pontiac Sunfires roaming around, and that's also impressive. Those cars are definitely not made to last. What time is it right now? It is 2.51 p.m. We don't need any headlights. Now, I know that a lot of companies like to have daytime running lamps or headlights on at all times. Now we don't do that. And the reason why is because it paints these lights on the ground in an unrealistic way during the day. And I'll show you what I'm talking about right there. I guess it doesn't look bad right now since everybody else does have theirs on. We'll just leave them on. But during beautiful sunlight days, it looks so ridiculous on the ground. And that's the reason why I don't do it. Get over here in a minute, driver. I love that style of Volvo. I don't think I've found one of those yet. I don't think anybody's made one of those. The older Volvo. 
You always know you're getting close to Bakersfield because you start seeing these wind farms. And they look good. Oh, hit the Waker Uppers. Yeah, that's all right, Mr. Audi. I didn't need that braking zone anyway. Huron, that's the name of the uh, area we're in. That Jeep Wrangler. Oh, that's an ugly colored Taurus. Look at this thing. Oh, no, 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 no. Fire whoever sold you that. Oh, that's my favorite car of all time right there. Dodge Challenger RT at 70. 1970 Dodge Challenger. My favorite muscle car of all time. I often get asked, what's your favorite car? And I always say the same thing. A 1970 Dodge Challenger RT. Plum crazy. That dark, you know, that purple with the metallic flake in it. Oh, that is so good. Like a black leather interior. Maybe one day, but those things are not cheap. They are not cheap by a long shot. I've been uh, thinking about bringing some uh, trains. Okay, this guy up here is going real slow. Uh, some train sim contents to the channel. Now, I don't want to do train sim world. I was very, very disappointed in train sim world. Now, they graphically have the edge, I'm sure. Maybe not. Because trains with the Z, the new version of that is looking really good. And well, I got over because everybody on the right was slamming the brakes, and now everybody is not doing that anymore, so. No, they're doing it again. There's somebody slow up there that's causing it. That's very similar to how I drive in real life, though. I just scan the horizon way out there. And, and see what traffic's doing. We got a way station. We're probably gonna get it. Yep. Gotta get in. Okay, buddy. I gotta get over. Don't dodge neon. Not letting us over. Dude, come on. You gotta, like, force your way over. They won't let you over. Gone is the etiquette of that, which used to be a thing in the game. I don't know why we... Why is that over-revving? I went down an eighth. Oh, yeah. I gotta get used to these gears. Well, look at that. The jump between... Seventh in Jesus sixth, or I mean fifth. Oh, I'm skipping sixth. That's why that turn that off. That is the most annoying sounding blinker I have heard in a truck so far. Uh, we're gonna pull up here and we'll stop. Don't worry, pass the inspection. The gross weight 73,174. All right. Okay, so third. Fourth is just very short, so we can skip fourth. Fifth. And then sixth is like in the low, low position when you go up on the range selector. So we're in sixth. Then seventh. Okay. So we probably could just launch out of like fourth gear or something like that. Come on, buddy. Thank you. Could have easily moved over for me, but I know your AI logic is definitely not there for that. That's another thing about the winter mod that I don't like is that it has the winter hours in quotations. But I mean, when you look at what time it is, it's 4:07 p.m. Sure, the sun has start going down now, but earlier when that wasn't the case, it was like one in the afternoon, and it looked like it was six o'clock in the evening. So, I think it's just time for something different. We'll turn our cruise back on here in a second. There we go. 58 will work. We can bring that up by this. There's 60. And set it. Into the evening we go. I do enjoy this trip, though. Whenever you take the 5 from North California down to South. If you want a highway experience, this is definitely it. A little Honda Civic, or is that a Daewoo or something? That's like a Daewoo almost. Or a Kia. That's like a Kia. An older Kia. Alright, 
This truck's going slow. Well, the traffic's just about as stupid as in real life today. You, you're behind a guy that's slow in the right lane. You want to get in the left. And then it's like, good luck. You got to force your way over. Because that car is never going to let you over. And now we lost so much speed, we got screwed. Isn't that just lovely? This is too realistic. <laughs> it's too realistic for a truck driver. Oh, well. I'm going to stick to this lane and get back up to speed because you know that truck on the right is going slow as hell. And give them a chance to get on the highway too. That'd be nice. I see a helicopter up there. In the distance. There we go. Set our cruise there. Set it and forget it. Like Ronco. Ronco did that uh, rotisserie chicken. Infomercial a long time ago. And they, uh, I always found it so interesting how they used the word piping hot. Like that was like their slogan. Piping hot vegetables. Like piping hot. No, oh, I remember that so well. But my grandma, um, her boyfriend at the time, he had one of those. And I was like, oh my God, I always wondered who would buy one of those. Now I know. Well, I got to say though, with the winter month, like the evening time, it looks so beautiful. It is really well done. Is it that Volvo from earlier that passed us? Uh, probably a different one. It's like Talladega on these uh, on these highways because you can only do 55, 60, and everybody's doing the same damn speed. Oh, we just stay uh, this way. Yep. We're in the right lane, it turns out. Draw in those mountains. Thank you. All right, we'll get over this way. And, yep. Nobody was there. They usually aren't. Now, I assume that lane on the right is going to end soon. But I could be wrong. Let's get over to the right anyway. Because we're going through the, the mountain pass. And if you're on the uh, northbound lanes and you go through the pass, you have those uh, runway or those runaway truck ramps. And you don't get them going this way, but we're in the truck lane. Slow vehicles only. That's definitely us. I'm going to go ahead and turn off cruise control because we're going to need every little bit we can out of this thing. This, uh, this truck's extremely underpowered, as you know. Look at that. Down to 45. Lovely. Hey, any car that's behind me, I have no sympathy for you, bud. It's a truck lane. You knew this going into it. We managed to hill pretty decently. That wasn't too bad. I know it's kind of old news now, but what do you guys think of that, uh, uh what was I doing? Oh, flashers. What do you guys think of that whole, uh, Jake Paul and rice gum doing that, <laughs> that bullshit, <laughs> that mystery box nonsense. God, I forgot to talk about it last time I was going to, but how ridiculous, man. And I, this is where I want, this is something I, I wanted to bring up and talk about is, you know, those kind of deals, those kind of things come across my email all the time. I mean, you wouldn't believe the amount of money that these companies will pay. I'm talking about mobile games that have, that are loaded with uh, microtransactions in them. I'm talking about, you know, like mystery box, like things like that, like these scam looking websites. And I don't take the money. Like I really don't do it. 
I turn that down. I mean, it's it's a ridiculous amount of money they throw at you, but man, it's like, yeah, you're throwing your reputation away, like reputation, but your uh, your dignity, number one, but number two, yeah, I guess your reputation on the internet, you're throwing it away by doing, taking deals like that. Now, see, I, I personally don't think that a mobile, a mobile game that's like, some sort of like Dungeons and Dragons or something along those lines, medieval times. I don't, I don't see that being something that would be worth trying to promote here. Could I do it? Take the money and make the video? Yeah, I could, but I don't do that because there's no amount of money in the world that can replace your dignity and your morale, your core beliefs. But I tell people this all the time. If I start, if I ever do like microtransactions and stuff like that, then yes, I have sold out. And be sure to let me know that. Be sure to, to throw me under the bus and or to call me out on it. That's what I mean to say. Oh, we don't want this lane. Crap. Whoops. So be sure to call me out on that. But that's not going to happen. I can tell you that right now. That is not gonna happen. Let's get our cruise control set here. There we go. This blows me away how many people take the money. I had one uh, contact me. He wanted to wanted to pay. I think it was upwards of four thousand dollars or something. But it was the GTA Five shark cards. Now I play GTA Five. I don't play GTA Online so much. Oh look at that train! That is so cool. I don't play um, GTA Online so much, but. What they were trying to do is trying to push to sell these shark cards to kids through like, you got to use this app or this. It, it was a huge scam. And they sent me examples of what they were looking for. And it was from very large GTA 5 YouTubers I will not name that clearly took the money and ran with it because they did those videos. And I'll straight up tell you right now, it was like $4,000. And I said, no, I'm not doing it. Sure, I play GTA, I mean, but you come across as such a snake oil salesman, like, <laughs> a little bit of pride. So just know, I do appreciate all of you guys that watch the ads on the, the channel, and that's that's the main primary uh, revenue source in, of income, because I don't take those kind of brand deals that are out there. Now, if you ever see sponsored content on the channel, it's because I think that it makes sense with the audience. Like the ASP Heavy Hauler is not sponsored content because I was not paid to promote it. I went above and beyond to make a video on it because I loved it and I thought that the guy deserved a little bit of credit for building them. A lot of credit. You know, people that uh, are legitimate business practice that, uh, that enhanced the simulation experience. I have no problem doing that. Like I have a sponsorship with Virtual Fly because they would send me the product. I make a video, and I get to keep the product. You know, sponsor content uh, that I did was Ubisoft, which is a great partnership to have because I will tell you this: out of the companies I've worked with, Ubisoft was fantastic. They were very, very good. They didn't push us to do things that we didn't want to do. It was uh, all around good. And that was with the crew too. Now we had already started playing the crew too, so it didn't matter, you know? It's not like uh, we had to pay, it, we were paid to play it. We got a, a better CPM. But that was a, that was a good one. Uh, some other sponsored stuff I've done. I've done sponsored stuff with, uh, I, don't remember, I don't remember all of them. Slow down here. We got some brake lights and I don't know what they're doing. Because I don't think they do either. I'm just going to stay in this lane. No, they want me to get over. Okay. Are we that? Are we outside of Carlsbad already? We might be. We'll find out here shortly, won't we? We're getting close. That is for certain. That's what I'm talking about. It never fails. I'm driving in the night. You're like, Jeff, don't you want to drive at night? Yeah, we have to get over again. 
Come on, GPS, make your make your mind up. Oh, we're going a little fast here. Use that Jake brake. That really quiet Jake brake. Every time I use it, you don't came here. Oh my god, they're stopping. They're stopping here. Okay. Why are we stopping like this in the highway? You jackasses. I think I got the hang of the gearing on this truck now a little bit better. That was ridiculous. They just slammed the brakes in the highway for no reason. It had to be something to do with that merge. Could be wrong. I'm gonna try to get back up to speed here. It just takes so long to get back up to speed in these things. Again, I will say, if you guys, uh, if I only had 10 coupon codes to give out, but I, I gave it in the last video, but if no one saw that, uh, if you want one of these button boxes, a link is in the description below, and use coupon code JFAV, J5, to receive a discount on it. Well, that straight truck is racing us. He's just, you can hear him just going through the gears. We're dusting him. Not meaning to, but we are. Now, the more I use the button box, the more I uh, can just look straight ahead and uh, flip switches. It took me a little bit to get used to it. It's like that anytime you get a new peripheral for your, uh, for your semi needs. It takes a little bit of time for you to get used to it. Set that cruise control there. That's 61. I'm gonna bring it down a little bit here. Boop. Down to 60. There we go. Much better. But I've got to say, like, after moving off of the buttons on my wheel to those, oh, it's so much better. Because in the wheel, you just, like, you're fumbling, and when you're turning the wheel, you're hitting things upside down and stuff, and, and I still don't like that about the blinkers. I mean, there's not a lot we can do about it. Okay, this is our exit up here. Let's go Jake break to our slow. Um, but with the button box, you don't have to worry about that. And you don't... I find myself not hitting the wrong button that much anymore, which is wonderful. And we'll turn that Jake break off. Seventh to climb, and we're making a left up here, it looks like. Alrighty. One uh, thing I really wish this track IR, I know I get that every time in a video. How do you look freely around the cab? I use track IR version 5. It's an old, older version. They might have a new version out. I don't know. I really don't. Um, but it would be nice. If we had blinkers before then, people. You turn in? We don't know what you're doing. You're not telling us. Now you're going straight. Oh, you're going to let me out. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, no, you're not. Just kidding. You're going to let me out, right? Miller Lite truck behind you. All right. He let us out. That was really nice of him. He didn't have to do that, but he did. What a stand-up guy. completely forgot what I was talking about. Oh, well, that happens. You get sidetracked very easily. Oh, track IR. Uh, what I was talking about with the, uh, this cable length is so short. Come on, track IR, get it together. I have to get like an extension or something for it. It's so short and it always gets in the way. I like the track, uh, the, the hat clip. That was nice because you didn't have cables, but unfortunately, that is not the best. And, and I still say this is so much better. I have, all my track IR issues went away when I got the Pro Clip that has the LEDs. It was 
much better. Be down in the sixth gear here. See, I'm so not used to having to be down into sixth right there in that low, low position. I'm so used to 18 and 13s. Gotta be pretty close to our drop off point here. Gonna make this light. We'll find out, won't we? You jackass. Just idiot. Why well, you would pull out in front of a truck. I. It happens in real life, too. Go down to the basement here. There we go. The more I use the 10 speed, the more I like it. I'm starting to get used to it. Yeah, my only request, if uh, the person who made this truck ever sees this video, is to turn down the uh, sound of the blinker. So it's just obnoxiously loud. Maybe it's supposed to be like that in the real truck and they chose to keep it in. But I mean, man, it's come a long way. Like I said in the very beginning of this video, I know this is the third time I've said it, but it really has. Like, I really am enjoying it. I will definitely use it again. There, It, can't, it comes with a ton of skins, by the way. Ton of skins. So you can put different trucking companies. Let me get a left up here. You got it. Man. Got real slow there for a second. Alrighty. Keep it rolling. Skip over this fifth gear there. What are you doing, you idiot? You're gonna get hit by that trailer because you're a jackass. Oh, it didn't happen. I mean, he didn't stop at all at that light. That could have been bad. I mean, it had to have been by an inch. That was so close. All right, we're making it right up here and we'll be at the yard. I guess, where are we going exactly? What uh, place that is? It's like Placer and Sons, but why would we be taking a... I don't know. What is it? You know what? We didn't ever even look to see what we were even hauling. Isn't that great? Toys. Oh, we're going to Walgreens. That's what it is. Not Plaster and Sons. Toys to Walgreens. Well, that's cool. Um, this gear. Fourth gear. I knew no matter what I chose, it was going to be a high RPM. And I was right. Uh, actually, let's go back down to this gear. Uh, okay, it's that building up there. So let's go into sixth gear. That's the, that's the gear that's catching me out today. Ooh, you sound cool. Oh, it's this drop. Oh, haven't had one of these drops in a while. Honestly, the uh, the clicking is so annoying in this truck that I'm not going to run the flashers. Just not going to do it. We already know. We've done it so many times. Okay, so what we have to do here is this. Straighten out the wheel. I'm about to go straight in next to this blue car. This old looking Impala. Hopefully not hit it. Oh, this is going to be one of those ones where they don't give you enough room. All right. I have an idea. 
Let's use this instead. Just follow the trailer back. Usually I can do decently right there, but these cars are kind of in the way today. I think we're all right. As long as we don't hit that. Looks like a Polara, isn't it? You may be like, what the hell's a Polara? <laughs> but it looks like one. What do we hit? What? What is there? Uh, let's get out and look. Oh, I'm so used to doing that. We do use of this. There's a pole there. Okay, cool. Great job. Great job by all. Son of a bitch. They don't throw you bones here, man. They just don't do it. SCS is like, oh, I thought you wanted to, uh, to do 90 degree turns. It's so much fun. It's like, yep, that's exactly what I wanted to do. Thought you'd never ask. There we go. Now we can straighten this thing out to the right. Once we get into this little hole here on the right, we're okay. All right, over here to the right. This is the hole I wanted to get into earlier. There we go. And we won't hit that pole this time. Imagine hitting that pole in real life. I'm like, boom. <laughs> I have a feeling it's going to be bad because we're running out of room on the right and this thing is not one I want to turn. So what I'm going to do is going to have to pull over to the left and get this thing straight. Because I know out of experience of this drop that if you don't do it this way, you're going to pay for it. Trust me. They're like, nope. We're going to make you suffer. There we go. Let's get this thing going back. Stick with it here. No, you're turning too much now. with it here. That was off by a little bit. It's all right, though. They're pretty happy with it, but I'm going to, but I'm not. I'm going to make sure we get in here nice and straight. Nope. Hit things along the way. I should have adjusted that mirror. Those mirrors are like really far down, aren't they? All right, right here will be good. Haven't done this drop in a while. That'll do right there. Pull the parking brake. There we go. We'll turn our lights off if we want. And uh, we're good. Detach the trailer. Let's see what we got here. Toys delivered from Sacramento to San Diego, 495 miles, 11 hours, 36 minutes, 68.2 gallons consumed. But we got an excellent, even though we hit a couple things with the trailer at very low speeds. Well, guys, that's going to do it for this episode of America Truck Sim. I'll see you all next time. Take care.